talk about body position for the standing power throw. You want to be here. I call this a hybrid deadlift stance. Why do I call it the hybrid deadlift stance? Because it's basically in between a squat, which is more torso upright, very knee bendy, and a Romanian deadlift, which is very hip hingy, minimal knee bend. This is kind of like a hybrid of the two. You have mostly a hip hinge, but some knee bend to allow you to explode as much as you can to get the most distance out of your standing power throw. Now, if you are purely Romanian deadlift, which is hardly any knee bend, about 15 degrees knee bend I'm talking about here, you're not gonna bring those quads in as much. You're really gonna use all your powerful hamstrings, glutes, and low back, and that's fine. But if I bend my knees a little bit more, I can now get those quads to help contribute to my power production. Power production is the summation of your levers, all working together. That's each joint is controlled by muscles, that's your levers. The more muscles you can get behind the throw, the more likely you are to have a powerful throw and get your best distance. So not too squatty, not too Romanian deadlift. It's mostly RDL with a little knee bend. Look at the torso angle, about 45 degrees, and that's your body alignment, torso hip knee alignment to maximize your standing power throw distance.